Hi students, good morning. Previous so far we have discussed differentiation of implicit function, explicit function, inverse trigonometric functions, exponential function, logarithmic functions. When we use logarithmic function, logarithmic differentiation, base and power if it is variable, okay, or more product terms are there. More division problems are there. In such case, we will apply log on both sides, then apply differentiation with respect of x on both sides. Now, we will discuss the today parametric equations. Parametric equation. If it is parametric equation, how we can find the derivative of parametric equation? Yes. So, what is parametric equation? For example, x squared plus y squared equal to a squared. This is represent circle equation radius a. Okay, so this equation involving in terms of x and y, x and y. This equation, how many variables are there? Two variables. Those are x and y. A is constant. Two variables are there, x and y. Now one more variable also we can create. So that variable is called parametric variable. How we can create the third variable? Okay, let x is equal. To, now I am taking sin theta. Theta is equal. To, y is equal to cos theta. Yes. Is it satisfied this equation? Put x is equal to sin theta. Sin square theta plus cos square theta. Now I am taking here one. One. So equal to one. Satisfy this equation. So these two equations are there. These two equations satisfy this equation. X is equal to sine square theta plus y is equal to cos square theta equal to one. Here radius is one unit. So this equation in this how many variables are there? Two variables. Now in this how many variables? X, y, theta. We got third variable. What is the third is theta? Okay. Are you following? The relation, the relation between x and y. Okay. There is a variable. The relation between x and y in the form of x is equal to f of theta, y is equal to g of theta. Okay. Then this equation is called is said to be parametric equation. Not only theta, you can take t also. X is equal to f of t, y is equal to g of t. So this is called parametric equation of this. This is this is represent same, but they look look like different. The, in this there are two variables, but in this three variables are there. Okay, so third variable x y is there. The third variable is called parametric variable. The whole equation is called parametric equation. For example, y squared equal to four a s. This is the parameter. Okay. Okay. How many variables are there? Two variables, x and y. Now let x equal to. I am taking a d squared. Y equal to two a d. Check it. This is satisfied or not? Y, y equal to substitute here. Two a t whole square. Four a x is equal to a t square. X is equal to a t square. Are you following? Two a t whole square equal to four a square t square. Four a square t square. Both same or not? Left side equal to right side. That means these equations are satisfied. This equation. So this is there are third variable is there t. So x, y, and t where t is called parametric. So this equation is called parametric equation of this. So this is implicit function. Okay, this is parametric form. In the implicit function, there are two variables are there x and y. Okay. In the parametric, there are three variables: x, y, one more, either t 
theta or any one. Are you following? If you take the uh, ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1, this is the equation of ellipse. Okay? How many variables are there? Two variables. Okay? Let x is equal to a cos theta, y equal to b sin theta. Is it satisfied this equation or not? Let me verify. x is equal to a cos theta, a square cos square theta by a square plus y equal to b square sin square theta by b square equal to 1. Cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. Yes, that means satisfied. So these are called parametric equation of ellipse. Parametric equation of ellipse. So how many variables are x, y, t? This is. Are you following? Parametric equation means there is a relation between x and y in the form of x is equal to x equal to f of t or f of t. Y is equal to g of t or g of t. Theta g of t is said to be parametric equation. Third variable is nothing but it is the equation involving third variable. There are three variables. Such equation is called parametric equation. Understood? F of x comma y equal to zero. Then parametric form. Parametric form. I will give some examples. Okay. First, x square plus y square equal to a square, which is represent circle. So, what is the parametric equation of the circle? x is equal to a sin theta or a cos theta. a cos theta. y equal to a sin theta. Correct? Which is satisfied this equation. Put x is equal to a cos square theta. Put y is equal to a sin theta, a square sin square theta. A common is to Okay. This is the parametric equation of circle. If given this equation, you select this one. Okay. Second one. This is circle. Parabola y square equal to 4ax. Y square equal to 4ax. X is equal to a d square, comma y is equal to 2a. These are parametric equation of parabola. Third one. X square by a square. X square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. X. So parametric equation is x is equal to a cos theta, y equal to b sin theta. Here a sin theta, here a and b equal. When a and b equal, this ellipse becomes a circle. Like this. Yeah. Length, major axis and minor axis are equal, it becomes a circle. Next, the fourth one, hyperbola. x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1. X is equal to a set theta, y equal to b tan theta. Okay. Next, the fifth one is x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to a power 2 by 3. This is not, uh, this is like uh, another third is One type of curve, x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to a power 2 by 3. This is like asteroid type. The curve shape is asteroid type. If it is this, what is the parametric form is? x is equal to x is equal to a power yeah. here here a power 1 by 3 is there. Yes? Here cube should be there. a cube cos cube theta y equal to a q sin q theta. Check it. Is it correct or not? Very fine. Substitute x is equal to a q cos q theta whole power 2 by 3. Understood? Or we can get like this also. A cos theta whole power 3. A sin theta whole power 3. See? A cos theta whole cube. 
एंड ऑल पावर टू बाई थ्री ये साइन दिएगा ऑल क्यू ऑल पावर टू बाई दिस गेट कैंसिल दिस गेट कैंसिल ए स्क्वायर और स्क्वायर लिखा प्लस ए स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर लिखा ए स्क्वायर टेक कॉमन और स्क्वायर लिखा प्लस साइन स्क्वायर लिखा व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 1 बट हियर ए पावर 2 बाई थ्री इज ए पावर 2 बाई थ्री मींस वी शुड टेक ए पावर 1 बाई थ्री यू डन यू सेट हियर ए पावर 1 बाई थ्री लाइक दिस ए पावर 1 बाई थ्री cos 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 cube theta. Sorry, ye cos cube theta. Ye cos cube theta. Plus y b. B b cube 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 theta theta plus y y y equal to to not not here a a a a a a a this is satisfied, this is 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 satisfied see x x power 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 by by राइट ये so this curves parametric equation you should remember if it is a circle this are the parametric equation okay derivative of parametric equation derivative of parametric equation let x is equal to f of t comma y equal to g of t these are called parametric equation Or parametric equation. So, if it is parametric equations, how we can find differentiation? How we can apply differentiation? dy by dx. Yes. yes? Uh, separate we should find dx by dt with respect of t. X is in terms of t. So, you apply differentiate with respect of t only on both sides, not x. Apply differentiation with respect of t. dx by dt equal to f dash t. Next here dy by dt equal to g dash of t. Because y equal to in terms of f of x, then we will find differentiation of y with respect of x because here x is variable. Here t is variable, not constant. So we should apply differentiation with respect of t because there is no y here. X and t only. So we apply differentiation with respect of t. What is inset function? That we should apply with respect of. We should apply with respect of the inset function, right? Okay. Now we want dy by dx, not dx by dt, not dy by dt. So dy by dx equal to by chain rule here dy by dt by dx by dt. Is dt get cancelled? Dy by dx. So this is the procedure to find differentiation of parametric equation. Dy by dx equal to dy by dt by dx by dt. Okay. For example, x squared. If x squared x square plus y square equal to a square then find dy by dx then find dy by dx uh, how can find this derivative we have done in the previous exercise implicit function x square plus y square equal to a square apply differentiation with respect of with respect of x On both side. So d by dx of d by dx of x square plus y square equal to d by dx of a square. The derivative of x square is 2x. The derivative of y square is 2y into d by by dx equal a square differentiation is zero. So 2y 
dy by dx equal to minus 2x get cancelled dy by dx equal to minus x by y this is we have done already in the implicit uh, and ex, uh, explicit function now I am doing this by using parametric form ok by using parametric form or another method of quadrant x square plus y square equal to a square tell me parametric equation of this, this equation x is equal to a cos theta y equal to a sin theta or or parametric equation parametric equation of this parametric equation of this yes now I am doing the differentiation by using parametric concept both should get same answer let me verify uh, tell me first x involving what variable theta so we should apply differentiation of with respect of theta dx by dt so d by d theta of a cos theta right understood now dx by d theta equal to a constant cos theta differentiation minus sin theta into theta derivative with respect of theta is 1 x derivative with respect of x is 1 like that theta derivative with respect of theta is 1 here y equal to a sin theta dy by d theta equal to d by d theta of a sin theta which is equal to a sin theta differentiation is cos theta theta derivative with respect of theta is 1 now we want dy by dx so dy by dx equal to by parametric concept dy by d theta by dx by d theta this is dy by d theta is a cos theta dx by d theta is minus a sin theta it is get cancelled minus cos theta minus cos theta but it look like they are not cos theta here cos theta theta but this answer and that answer same only because in the terms of theta, there in terms of x and y. How we can convert x and y here? Now I am not cancelling here. See, see, this is a cos theta we got it here minus a sin theta. A uh, minus comes up. A cos theta value x by a sin theta is y. Finish checking. Minus x by y. Cos theta equal to minus x by y. You can express in terms of theta or in terms of x and y. Both answers same. Okay. So this is the equation is same, but the differentiation where method is different. Here we have done direct differentiation with respect of x because there are only two variables. But here parametric form. There are three variables. So three variables means how can we find differentiation? Here two variables means x y involving x. So we have differentiation with respect of x or y, or with respect of y also we can find it. But here three a is there. If you give x, y may be three. If you give y, theta may be three. Three are there. If two are there, means we can exchange either x or y. But theta is there. So in such case, we should find that is dx by dt now. So correct dy by dt. Then dy by dx is equal to dy by dt by dx by dt. This is the method to find the parametric equation of differentiation. Okay. If x is equal to a d squared, y equal to two a d. These are parametric equation of parabola. Okay. Now, x equal to a d squared. Where d is parameter, y is equal to a d dx by with respect of t we should have that dx by dt equal to d by dt of a t square a constant d by dt of t square so a into the t square differentiation is 2t 
so which is equal to 2ad dx by dt. Next, dy by dt equal to d by dt of 2ad. In that, what is the constant? 2a. 2a take out into d by dt of t. 2a t derivative is 1, so which is equal to t. Now we want dy by dx, not dx by dt, not dy by dt. So dy by dx equal to dy by dt by dx by dt. This is dt get cancelled dy by dx. So dy by dt is 2a. By dx by dt is 2ad. So get cancelled 1 by t. This is the differentiation of this. Okay. Most important compulsive question theory from the parametric equation. Three marks question they last. Okay, any paper you see without this parametric question, no question paper. Compulsive question. Okay. Next. Find dy by dx if x is equal to x equal to a into theta plus sin theta. It's the most important this. It was asked many times. Either two or three marks from this. x is equal to a theta plus sin theta. Next, y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. a into 1 minus cos theta. Now x is equal to a theta plus sin theta. x equal to a into theta plus sin theta. y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. x involving theta variable. So we should apply differentiation with respect of theta. dx by d theta equal to d by d theta into a theta plus sin theta. A constant take out into d by d theta of theta plus d by d theta of sin theta. Plus is there. Apply. Separate u plus d method equal u dash plus v dash. A into theta derivative with respect of theta is 1. Plus sin theta differentiation is cos theta with respect of theta. This is A into 1 plus cos theta dx by d. Next, coming to this, dy by d theta. Here a constant, d by d theta into 1 minus cos theta. Next, a into 1 derivative with respect of theta. 1 derivative with respect of theta, 0, constant. With respect of theta, 1 is constant. d by d theta into 1 minus d by d theta of cos theta. So a into 1 derivative is 0 minus cos differentiation is sin theta. a sin theta. This is dy by dt. Now dy by dx. dy by dx equal to dy by d theta by dx by d theta. Equal to dy by d theta is a sin theta dx by dt is a 1 plus cos theta. Get cancelled. Sin theta of angle formula. Sin 2 theta equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta. Like that. Sin theta in terms of half angle. 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. By 1 plus cos theta equal to 2 cos square theta by 2. 2 cos square theta get cancelled cos theta by get cancelled sin theta by 2 by cos theta by equal to tan theta by 2 and this is most important question this is 5.6 x and y are connected parametrically by the equation given in exercise 1 to 10 without eliminating the parameter find d by d First question, find dy by dx without eliminating parameter x is equal to 2a t square y equal to a into 
d power 4. So we should not go eliminate d. So if we eliminate d, what happens? We we'll get equation in terms of x and y. So without eliminate d, find differentiation. So how the way is x is equal to 2a d square y equal to a d power 4 dx by dt equal to uh, d by dt into 2a d square what is the constant here 2a take out 2a into d by dt into d square t square differentiation is t square differentiation with respect of t is 2t so we call 4 a t this is dx by dt next y equal to a t power 4 dy by dt equal to d by dt into a t power 4 a take out d by dt into t power 4 a into t power 4 derivative 4 t cube to t derivative with respect of t is now dy by dx equal to dy by dt by dx by dt. dy by dt is 4a t cube. dx by dt is 4a t. Get cancelled. So t square. Next. Second question, try yourself. If find the value x, if x is equal to a cos theta, y is equal to b cos theta. 